What up you guys? It's officially the weekend. Putting my glasses down, close the computer, heading straight to the couch. It's Friday, like five o'clock, and we're gonna do a vlogging like you're on my close friend story this weekend. I did one of these last May and you guys loved it. And I can't believe I haven't done another since. I had every intention to. Um, so basically it's just gonna be a weekend in my life vlog, but kind of including more clips that probably would be on my close friends rather than like my public story, you know? Um, going out tonight, maybe tomorrow night, probably not tomorrow night, I don't really know, we'll see. Just doing lots of random fun things, just like a fun weekend in the city. I'm gonna be with lots of friends, friends that you guys know, Delaney, my friend Cade, um, daily on Sunday, so I think it's gonna be like fun. Um, so yeah, all my close friends, it's very like how I'm feeling. Um, that, you guys are like, that's boring. Not like how I'm feeling, but like I just share my inner thoughts more. Probably some drinking, some random things that I just like, why am I putting this on the internet? But you know, here we are. Um, so yeah, right now I'm hungry, but I'm going to dinner at La Caverna in Lower East Side with Daly, Daly, Delaney and Cade very soon. I need to like get ready and I want to like look cute. I haven't like gone out on the town in a minute. I want to look hot. And Ryan's meeting us out after. Um, like he's getting dinner with a couple guy friends, so afterwards he's gonna meet us up and we're gonna all go out together And I want to look cute for me for him for everybody, you know the vibes However, I literally just texted Delaney and Kate and I we had dinner at 730 And I was like I could just well actually I said I was just like oh should we you know change the dinner reservation to eight you know so we have less time in between like dinner and going out you know because there's that lag time and we could fully just get drinks somewhere else in between that and they were like, oh, like, sure. Like, I figured we'd just go somewhere else after. And I'm like, okay, if I'm being honest, like, I just need more couch time. Like, I just do. Because I just finished working and I could, I would like a solid 45 minutes, maybe just like one episode of Ginny and Georgia on my couch and then getting ready. Because right now, if I started getting ready, I feel like I won't last throughout the night. I need like a recharge. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Except I, I really just do need a snack. I really do. Not to be like that, but my abs hurt. <laughs> Pilates has been crushing me in the best way. It's been really fun. Ugh, I don't have any more hummus to have a snack like that. This is kind of random, but I feel like it'll hit, right? Mary's Gone Crackers with some peanut butter. And yes, I know it's Jif peanut butter. Honestly, I think it tastes so good. I know it's probably not the best for you, but it just tastes so good. I'm running out of the crackers. Um, I'm really proud of myself this week. I've been very on top of, this is supposed to be a disheveled vlog. Here I am about to talk to you guys about how I've been on top of my dishes. Like I keep unloading the dishwasher and reloading it and that's not what you guys want in this vlog. I fully understand. Cheers. That's a lot of peanut butter. Mm, 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 mm. I am taking this to the TV, to the salon. And I'm gonna watch a little TV. Ugh, I don't want to get ready, Ryan. <laughs> I know. It's a long, it takes a while. 10, 15 minutes. I know. You take so long to get ready. I, I know. I'm just, I'm just going to play some fun rap music, pick out an outfit, do my makeup, and I'll start feeling, feeling ready. Yeah. I've been listening to more country now. It's Yay! Yeah. Get I'm ready for stagecoach. You brought it up once, and I was like, you know what, you're right. Let's yeah, you it, were it the... Makes you feel, everything feel better. Yeah, country music hits. It just puts you in a good mood. Yeah, I sometimes... It's time to get ready. Need to figure out an outfit. So I'd like to style an outfit around these pants. They're so cool. They're like black leather, or faux leather, and then they're like this cool felt material the rest of the way. And I sent, and then I love this bodysuit. It's so flattering. I love like the sweetheart neck, like neckline, whatever. But my torso is really short. I don't know. I just didn't think it looked good. I sent it to Delaney. And she was like, "How could they not go together? Like literally, how could they not go together?" But I just feel like they don't go together. This is like sweetheart, and then this is like raw, edgy. You guys are probably like, nah. So I either want to wear this with some sort of pant. Or the pants with a shirt. My friend Tori De Simone, Tori Sterling on Spotify, creates amazing plus. She is a spin instructor and all the things, and she always has such good hype, like 
rap and just good pump up music. So I'm gonna, I recently found this playlist of hers because I follow her and it's good. So we're gonna listen to this while I get ready. Okay, I tried it on. As you can see, it's just like not, this is too feminine and this, no. It's confirmed, these don't go together. I also may need a belt. <laughs> it's like the universe knew I was filming this video. I was just turning on these really cool pants. I don't think I've ever had this happen to me before. I literally bent over to grab the shirt that fell on the ground I was about to put on, and I ripped my pants. I ripped my pants and I don't have a shirt on. Like, I don't even know if I can show you guys. Like, it is just like, it's from a movie. All right, that's all I'm giving you guys, but yeah. I ripped my pants. <laughs> so that was a fail. I've literally never worn those pants. Love that for me. Um, makeup's done. Show you guys my outfit now. That playlist was hitting. It got me in the mood. Okay, top is meow. It's like this brown corset vibe. Really cute. Pants are revolve, or no, free people. I just got them. I love them. Um, I was really struggling on what to wear this top with, but, and I tried literally all my jeans and these looked the best. Black boots, because I'm going to wear a black bag and a black faux leather trench. Okay, we're headed to La Caverna. I really think I need a fireball shot, like... I don't know. I just think I need to, I'm not going to take any more fireball tonight, but I do feel like I just need one little boost, if I have any even. Do I not have any? Well, I know I have hot fireball or warm fireball. Damn. Urgh. Okay, I have this, but it's not cold. So we're just going to let that sit in there for a second while I finish getting dressed. I don't have any baby carrots. How am I gonna take this fireball shot? I'm so serious. Fuck. Um, I guess I'll chase with kombucha. All right, Delaney is like, why are you not on the way yet? I just, I just know I need this fireball shot right now, okay? I just know. I most definitely haven't taken a fireball shot yet this year. <laughs> 2023. Okay, actually, why does this make me wanna gag a little bit right now? Oof. Am I dumb? Wait, I should call my Uber, right? Like I should, I'm literally supposed to be there in six minutes and it's in the Lower East Side. Really good job. Oh my God, I didn't even fill in my purse. Oh, fuck. I was about to head out the door with an empty purse. Okay, well I'm glad I pushed dinner back at least 30 minutes. Okay, wallet, lip balm. I'm kind of thinking of bringing my hand warmers, my portable Amazon. Hand warmers. I think I'm definitely going to. And then some lip gloss. Okay, that's settled. One minute away, I'm gonna be there so late. I'm gonna be there so late. All right, cheers. Oh, woo! I have tears in my eyes. I feel like you all could like feel that through the camera. Why did I just do that to myself? I just needed to loosen up, okay? Okay. Uber's called. Let's go to La Caverna. Going with my friends Cade and Delaney. I need everyone to know that I've been standing here waiting for the elevator to come and I didn't press the button. Good job. My Uber is simply not coming. Our reservation started five minutes ago and my friends are already there. I literally hate this. I'm gonna attempt. I'm like feeling this fireball. It's kicking <laughs> like right now and I'm alone and I'm like trying to get a car. I'm gonna attempt to hail a cab. I'm gonna walk to the corner. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, my first stride. Hi. Hello. How are you? Love you. Thank you. I am obsessed with this place. It's giving Rainforest Cafe in the best way. Like, I wanna be here all night. It's so cool. It's literally like elementary. I know. I got a Cosmo. Kate brought out his sunglasses. Nighttime, time for sunglasses. All right, let's see how the La Caverna Cosmo is. She's good. She's good. Need water. 
Just got back from La Caverna. We ended up being there literally all night from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. It did indeed get so packed and fun. Like we literally ate there. There weren't really many people there. It's like more of a going out spot. Met so many of you guys. So shout out. So many of you bought me a fireball shop. So thank you. I'm tired. It's 1 a.m. That's pretty good for us. I'd say pretty good for us. I just washed my face. Ryan is on the hunt for pizza right now for us. Um, that sounds so good. I'm going to turn on the TV. My PJs, show me your memo. Obsessed. They're so perfect for like Valentine's Day and just like that time of year. I mean, it's definitely so cold, but like I don't really like to s like always sleep in long pants. In my apartment, the heat's working and we're good. So a long sleeve with shorts is perfect to sleep in and it's so chic. I'm obsessed. Um, but tonight's a get out of me. <laughs> I haven't done that in a minute, but it was so much fun. I need to go chug more water and I cannot wait for pizza. Also, can we take a moment for the shirt that my Kate, my, my Kate, my friend Kate brought for me? He got it for me for my birthday and um, I literally haven't seen him since my birthday, so he brought it today. How sweet. I, if you guys don't know, I'm a big Drake fan and he got this shirt. <laughs> It's amazing. Hallelujah. Oh, you actually got garlic knots. Oh my god, that's exciting. What'd you get? Did you not get pizza? Did you get a cal- what's that, a sandwich? Calzone? Yum. Good morning. This coffee never looks better. What do you guys think of my new produce bowl? It's the little things. It's from Urban Outfitters. You can take this out and wash it. <laughs> Ryan, do you like it? I love it. It's so cute. I'm getting some avocados. Going to brunch at one, but like need something in my stomach, so gonna find the perfect avocado. I really want some garlic knots right now. <laughs> Ew, my half-eaten pizza. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Guys, I'm so proud of myself. I've never cut an avocado like this, and I was like, how do they do it at restaurants? But you like spoon it out first, then cut it. Pretty, I'm like loving it. That's how I cut Ryan's. That was the first one. I'm a little sorry about that. Okay, Ryan's in the shower. Gonna make chlorophyll water, but I'm gonna attempt to do it with sparkling water. Some San Pellegrino, the chlorophyll, and some lemon juice. <clears throat> I don't know, the drinks just like weren't hitting last night. Like, so I just like stopped drinking after a while because they just like, I don't know actually, they just weren't hitting, right? Getting brunch with some friends. Not like a boozy brunch, just like brunch. But I did have an avocado and a piece of toast for now. I know I didn't like vlog as much last night. Usually like with these types of vlogs, I'll vlog more like at the bar and stuff. But guys, it was literally body to body, body on body, whatever. I couldn't even pull out my camera. One, it was so dark in there because it was literally a cave. It was sick. But like the phone would be like, like I would, it would be like this. I couldn't even really hold my phone because it was so crowded. So I'm sorry about that. But hopefully you guys will forgive me. Um, apparently chlorophyll is good for hangovers. I'm not like really hungover, but I definitely feel like a little off. We're getting after it there. A little lemon water. Oh, that's refreshing. She's refreshing. It's a mess in here. Let's get these blinds open, you guys know the drill. I feel so fabulous in my PJs. I just feel like very put together. I don't know. I'm just kind of loving them. Okay, I just got dressed. We're going to the Little Owl. Guys, I got this water flosser. <laughs> I'm in my dental era and a tongue scraper, a metal tongue scraper, both from Amazon. Changed my life. It's actually disgusting. Like when I, I'm not gonna show this on camera. I know this is the close friends one, but like nah. Oh my God, the shit that it scrapes off. Ew. <laughs> and I just drank chlorophyll, so my tongue, <laughs> tongue is green stuff. And then this thing is just so cool. It's like a water floss, like a water pick. It's so cool. Brunch fit. Sweat set is seven days active. I'll revolve. I have an orange too. Just did my brows, put on some vitamin C serum. I should have done eye cream too, but we're running late. We're not running late, we're just not ahead of schedule. And sneakers, Air Forces, just gonna put on my black puffer coat. Going to the Little Owl, it's under the friend's apartment in West Village, really cute. Gonna go romanticize my walk now. <laughs> Walking, got my hand warmers in my jacket. 
and they're actually like really hot right now, but it's very efficient. Delaney so fun. She said, you better bundle up. It's really cold outside. And I'm like, so I bundled and I mean, it's windy, but it's just cute. George girl, I had those moments. I still get cold. I sound like I've literally lived here for a year, but yeah. Hi, thank you. Hi, Hi Queen. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm attracted to my meal. Brunch was so good, was such good vibes. We had some great combos. We're going to this really silly store called Boyard Gifts. Well, I actually am in need of decor. Delaney needs some decor, so we're gonna go to the silly store. We need the candles. Yeah, let me just find you some candles and shit. I was gonna say I wasn't gonna say shit, and then I forgot. This is like a this is a crazy story private vlog. story vlog, saying the things that I probably wouldn't put in the vlogs normally. All right, Delaney, welcome to the shit show. What? Mm. I know. I feel so fancy. I'm at the Oscars, darling. <laughs> yeah, you can put out the candle instead of blowing it out. Congrats on that thing you did. Be your own sugar daddy. Guys, I love a prank. Delaney, pick it up. I spilled my cereal. No. <laughs> I like this cereal candle too. This isn't I'm vibing with it. Soho is like popping off right now. Really Pop is. off. And it's so cold. It's so cold, but like, but everyone's off. that's what I love about New York. Everyone like <laughs> pays so much to live here that they always make sure to like take advantage of the days. And it's fun. Ryan was having a solo date and he like took himself to get dumplings and he's alone right now. <laughs> And he was in Soho, so we were like, do you want to meet up with us? He's like, yeah. So we're going to collect Ryan. We're crashing his main character moment. We're crashing his main character moment. Spotted. <laughs> Someone got a haircut. Thank I you. like it. Not Ryan, literally. He literally goes, you guys can go to TJ Maxx. I'm going to get a taco. He literally just went and got dumplings and I was getting taco. Are you going to meet us at TJ Maxx? Yeah. Okay, John. That's like the most random thing ever. <laughs> Wow, I didn't know TJ Maxx had all these floors. TJ Maxx in Soho, guys. See what's up. Good. <gasps> Knock off Stanley check. Wait, that's amazing. $16. Yeah, it's ginormous. Wait, I love the blue. Wait, should you get one? <laughs> no, I've kind of been one, but... You would drink so much water. I drink so much water with mine. You're so crazy. I love this one. But see, I'd use it and then be like, St. Patrick's Day's over. Honey. Interesting. Wait, I would totally put this in my apartment. Do I need this? Do I need it? No, like, I'm not kidding. Like, this is so cute. Do I have a counter for- I can put it on my shelf! I'm totally getting this for my shelf. This is so cute. She got the Stanley Cup, too. So cute. Ryan, you're- <laughs> Let there be light. <laughs> I love it. This is so fun for us. Something for everyone at TJ Maxx, truly. We're waiting for Ryan outside of Balthazar. He's seeing if they have matches for my matchbook case thing. Aw, man. Guys, this is like cheating the system for my matchbook collection. You literally can buy them for $1.50 at Abode on Elizabeth Street. This is so cool. I love the Bengals one. That's so cute. Hotel in Vegas. Look, it's cool. It has like Ella Fitzgerald. Oh my God. Bought a kombucha on my walk back. Gonna drink it out of a wine glass right now. That sounds lovely. Ryan, Delaney, and I literally just frolicked around New York. It was very fun. We went to like Soho, NoHo, West Village, all the things. And now I've got a little time. I'm gonna go to Kelly's apartment tonight and do takeout Thai food, which sounds lovely. Cheers. Oh my gosh, I, this is so disgusting. This is the food Ryan and I got last night, but I really, these garlic knots were fire flames. I really might eat one right now. Is that disgusting? I don't care. So I'm sitting here watching Ginny and Georgia, Life is Good, opening my Amazon packages, and I'm trying to be a trendy girl. I'm going to Miami this weekend. I'm so excited. Like, as you guys are watching this, tomorrow morning I'm flying to Miami with Kelly, my friend Cass, and Seb. I'm so excited. Like, I'm literally, I could cry. I'm so excited. We planned this months ago when we knew we'd be craving some sunshine in January. So anyway, I'm trying to be cool and trendy, and I got these sunglasses. What do we think? I'm really having lots of wardrobe malfunctions. I mean, they literally came like this. I'm just gonna say on Amazon. Do you guys notice on Amazon, if, if it's like, especially something like not super expensive like this, they'll literally be like, oh, just keep it. We'll send you a new one. Not that I would literally do anything with this one, but it's kind of nice when they're like, oh, you don't need to return it. Like, I mean, this is literally, 
Or could I fix it? Hold on. No, I... Gosh, that's annoying. Whoa! Oh! I mean... Wait. Did I just fix them? I don't know. I only just thought these would be cool for one outfit. I got this really cool, like, gray mesh cover up like it's like pants and a shirt for like a bathing suit and i thought it'd be cool to wear like a silver or gray bathing suit underneath with these sunglasses but i don't know I'm just trying to be like kim kardashian you know <laughs> like probably this would look good with like a slick bag nothing is looking like like i literally look like a 12 year old boy i don't know just wait till the my follow me go follow me on instagram right now at daniel carolyn and see how i do with this but i got this bathing suit we're gonna see how it fits on amazon as well I'm kind of vibing with it like, I mean, come on now. With that cover-up I got, I have to see how it fits. I'm very weird about, like, I, I mean, everyone is. Like, I want, I only wear a bathing suit if I feel good in it. Um, but I liked the cut. This is a great tanning bathing suit. I wonder if it'll bring in extra heat. Because, no, I'm kidding. It's not that material. It just looks like, like, aluminum material. I don't know. I'm kind of here for it. We'll see how it goes. Updates to come there. But I think I just fixed the sunglasses. I mean, I don't, I literally just want them... For like one day and then maybe i'll wear them here in the city like with a cool like matrix outfit anyways problem solved all right time to go eat take out thai food and hang out with kelly i'm literally so excited i'm gonna bring my vlog camera because when i can i try to i know the iphone clips aren't always the best or take out thai take out thai take out and have a night and chill my Depending on the time we end, go meet up with Ryan and his friends to watch the Giants game. But, you know, because I'm a football girl. <laughs> um, not actually. Well, actually, yes, I am. Like, I do like football, so, obviously, clearly. Um, we're bundling up. I'm going to walk there. Got my tote bag. I don't know why I'm telling you guys all this. Fun fact. Having headphones on also acts as earmuffs. But I put them on the transparency setting, especially at night when I'm walking. It's a Saturday night, so there's like a lot of people walking. But just so I can hear my surroundings. Safety first. Gotta take out the trash, which is gonna be really glamorous. <laughs> Watch out, world. Um, I do just... One thing I love about my apartment is my trash can. It was not cheap, but it has like a thing for recycling and trash. And they're so cute little bags. Hey, Kelly. You always... I, I don't know why, because you're not a YouTuber, so I'll be like, can I vlog? You and you're like... You always ask, is it okay to vlog? I'm like, yeah, of course. I don't know why I'm like this. You're just a polite lady. I literally don't... I don't know... No, Kelly, I don't ask anyone else. Unless it's like a friend that's not on social media. Wait, why? But I don't know why, but now I'll literally never ask you again. So watch out. Like consent forever. <laughs> Yay, consent. Kelly, consent. Can you sign that here? Um, She has sex in the city on. It's like such a vibe in her apartment right now. Um, we got so much. Food. I am so excited. We got Thai food. I, yeah, we got a little um, excited. Yeah, I definitely didn't need to add the pad to you. I walked in and Kelly had already added, like, she'd like had a few things to try. I was like, well, I'm just gonna add one more thing, and now I'm like, woof. But, and we got soup. These are soup. So I love fresh summer rolls. Where's the, this I'm very excited to see. It's mango with sticky rice. Yeah, and it has like coconut cream. It's like. Yum. Is it like a dessert? Yeah, I thought that was what's in. This freaking big old cup. Stanley cup. Stanley cup. Got my big old, everyone's like, are you talking about hockey? I'm like, no, the, the more important Stanley cup. Yeah, I brought some. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Just got back from Kelly's. It's literally almost midnight. When I was leaving, we were both looked at the clock and did not realize it was 11. Like, we had been talking for, like, hours. Like, she's just such an amazing friend. I'm, like, so thankful to have found her in New York. And we were saying, it's so funny in New York. Because in college, like, I'd always go over to friends' houses and we just sit on the living room floor and chat. But, it, like, every, in New York City, it's always, even if it's, like, a really close friend, it's like, oh, where should we go to dinner? Or where should we go get drinks? It's never, like, do you want to come over? Not a lot. I'm trying to do it more. Because I feel like you have way more genuine conversations, especially if you like cook or if you just order in, like it's just way more chill, sometimes less expensive because you're not calling Ubers, you don't have to get dressed up, it's like so nice. And like I love going out to dinner, but I think there's something to be said for that. And um, yeah, it was just really, really nice. I'm in this like really weird headspace right now. It just kind of like sucks. Not headspace, it's just like kind of sucks. Um, 
And when I talk about my relationship, it's not for you guys to overanalyze it and comment and all these things. I'm very happy in my relationship, but I feel like I like to give you guys bits and pieces, like maybe if you find it relatable or whatever. So when I talk to you guys, I feel very comfortable talking to you guys. So just whatever. Like it's one of those weekends where Ryan and I are like on completely different wavelengths. Not emotionally, like love him. Was with him this morning and last night, but like, this weekend, for example, I'm just like not like I started this vlog. I'm like, it's gonna be wild and crazy and I'm just not in that mood Like I'm just not I had a lot of fun last night, but that was it I gave it my all and I'm just not in the mood to like go out I'm really not in the mood to socialize with a ton of people I'm kind of more in like these like I'm wanting like more one-on-one -on -one. like I'm, I'm in a social mood I'm in a very talkative mood actually, but more so just like oh Gosh, I don't know if that's making sense but and like Ryan's like got some friends in town and is like in the mood to like, you know, go watch the football game and I was gonna too, but then I was just really enjoying my time with Kelly and I just didn't want to leave. But I feel all this pressure like, oh, I should see Ryan this weekend because I'm going to Miami next week and I won't get to see him. And I feel very comfortable, like I feel like we've seen each other a lot, but it's like this weird pressure you put on yourself. Like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be gone next weekend and like this week's gonna be really crazy. We need to spend a time with each other but it's like I wanted to go see Kelly and he wanted to go see his friends like I think it's a healthy relationship to like be and I fully like I have literally no in my mind of like oh my god he's out with friends like girls like I just don't and I'm really thankful for that I feel very comfortable in that but then I like overthink it and I'm like oh my god like we should be hanging out right now but like I'm very like I just want to sit here as you guys can tell I overthink like literally everything and I think that's okay, you know, whatever. It's just who I am. And I'm self-aware about it, but I just wanted to share that if you guys are in relationships where it just kind of sucks on certain weekends, you're just on different wavelengths. And I was talking to Kelly about it and she was like, it's so normal, like it happens. Like, and a lot of times Ryan and I are on the same wavelength and we want to do the same things. But this weekend we both like were just on the phone for like 20 minutes when he was walking to like go meet up with his friends from, he was watching football, he was going somewhere else and he was just like, oh, it sucks. Like, I really want to see you, but I'm also like, I really want to see my friends. And I'm kind of like in this, like he was having fun. And like, I don't, I'm just gonna go to bed. But then you like put all this pressure on yourself. Like, oh my God, like we should be together right now. But like, it's literally 11.45, it's midnight. And I'm not in the mood to go out. And like, I feel like sometimes his friends are probably like, damn, Danielle doesn't like always come out. But that's because I trust him. And I value like having like separate friendships. Like I very, not separate, but like, I value like guy like Ryan needs his manly time. Like Ryan's a very masculine person. Like he needs that time. And I'm very like I'm who I am too. And I like like to keep my friendships and not I'm not saying I'm perfect at all, but I'm noticing that about us and like I do try to be mindful of that when I start to overthink. I'm like, no, but it's important to have your other friendships and relationships for your relationship to be good. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm in a blabbery mood. But the consensus is do what feels best for you. Give trust in your relationship. Like, because if I was like, no, like you have to come home. I sound like Jennifer Coolidge. Like then it's just not fun. And I'm just gonna go to bed. So I just put pressure like, should we be hanging out because I'm going out of town? But we've been dating almost four years. We're very comfortable with each other. Like I know where he lives. Like it's not that big of a deal. And if I wanted to right now, I could go out and be with him, but I just don't, I, I'm not there. So. Yeah, this is something I probably normally wouldn't put on my channel, but it's a you're on my close friend story right now <laughs> so Yeah, I Have this crazy like I mean I feel like a lot of people feel like that amazing joy you have on a Saturday night when you're just like uh, And I feel very fulfilled this weekend actually whereas last weekend I felt really weird. I Don't know I'm going in phases, but this weekend. I'm just feeling very fulfilled in all of my friendships and my relationship, like I feel very good and I'm very thankful for that. I'm having a very well-rounded weekend, like getting to see people that really mean a lot to me, which is really nice. And having Delaney live here now is like, so I'm just very thankful. I'm actually, my cup is very full and I'm very grateful for that. So I don't ever want to seem like I'm ungrateful, but you know, just sharing the inner thoughts of my mind because that's what I do on this channel, right? <laughs> We're just in this together. Anywho, oh, what I was going to say was I have this crazy joy of like, knowing it's a Saturday night and people are out and I don't want to be and I'm at home. Like just knowing that I just lit my candle and I'm gonna make some sleepy time tea and watch Jenny and Georgia, I'm just like, yes. Like it just feels so good. It's euphoric really. Anywho, thanks for listening. 
I slept so good. Oh my gosh. 10 a.m. Woke up at like 9.40. It's coffee time. Coffee. Ice roller. Eye patch. Why is my ice roller hot? Wait, no. It was cold. That was a really weird sensation. Um, I ha It's Sunday morning, so it's time to upload a video. And I'm like, can I do this? Yeah, that works. Because I need to like go on my computer, but my friend just texted us in one of these group chats and was like, I have to tell you guys I blah 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 with this guy and I literally did a self timer photo and I, get, and I go, give us the tea sister I did a self timer, took this photo and then Kelly just sent this one <laughs> I want a pancake right now that looks amazing that is so silly that is so silly love a group chat so Ryan and I I'm going to get breakfast right now and I didn't he didn't like say when he was walking over so I've just been like taking my time getting ready I just got out of the shower and he does this and I mean it's smart as a guy like with a girlfriend who is like I don't really take a long time to get ready actually but you know take longer than him anyways he's like okay I'm here I'm like oh I literally hopped out of the shower when he said that like that's when I saw the text and I was like okay just give me a second like I'm getting dressed he's like okay I'll be outside Cause he knows if he were to come up, I would probably like linger a little bit more. It's actually smart. Cause I'm like, oh my gosh, he's outside in the cold alone. Like, you know, it makes you want to go a little faster. So I don't really know where we're going to go eat. I'm kind of like in the mood for a diner when Kelly sent a picture of her, um, pancakes that looked kind of fire. So unsure, but we're getting ready. Okay. Skins, long sleeve, fleece lined leggings from Amazon. Adidas sneakers. I'm gonna do my the O kind beanie, and then the jacket I've just been wearing all weekend. I really just haven't switched it up because it's just so it's good and sporty, you know. It does what it needs to. I told Ryan while you're waiting, <laughs> figure out where we're going to breakfast. So hopefully he finds somewhere good. Okay. And this is like the bag I used last night. I don't really feel like changing purses, so let's go have an adventure. So we found a restaurant called Breakfast by Salt's Cure, and I've literally always wanted to go. The line, you guys? No thanks, so we're finding a new spot. Okay, we ended up at this place called Three of Cups in Soho. It's so cute. I love it. We're sitting outside, there's heat lamps, so we'll take it. Guys. Ryan got the German breakfast, that's so iconic. And we're sharing French toast, I have a sweet tooth. And then I got the breakfast sandwich. This place is so far so good. They don't have decaf coffee, but that's fine. We're on a walk around Tribeca now, like the prettiest neighborhood ever. <laughs> Ryan's excited because we saw the Ghostbusters station or whatever. I don't really know what this is. I mean, I know what the Ghostbusters are. Is this like where they filmed it or like yeah, yeah, they would yeah. just show it in B-roll? No, it's where they filmed it. Huh. Yeah. One thing I love about New York City is that like we were just walking and i was like i kind of have to pee i was like oh should we just go in the oculus and pee? <laughs> like, that's just like it's just like a sick cool building and we just get to come in here and use the restroom there's just things like we started in west village and now we are in fida yep. ryan wanted to go to the southernmost tip oh my god lady liberty check <laughs> we're attempting i think this is the most southern point of the island Battery Park. Ryan's never been here. It's so pretty here in the summer, but we're walking. Hey, girl. There she is. Wow. Fun fact about me, if I'm on a walk, especially like a long walk, and especially in New York City when you don't know like when the next bathroom time is going to be, if I see a public bathroom, I just go. Fun fact. I also have like a really small bladder. Okay, now I need to go find Ryan. He said he was gonna explore while I was gone, which you just never know what that could mean. Looking for Ryan. Wait, guys, this thing's moving in there. I thought it was a playground, but it's like a little indoor carousel. What? That's so cute. No, like I really wanna do this. It was playing like relaxing music too in there. How cute. I just noticed there's like these huge slides over there. It's really battery park. <laughs> like it's a battery playground. All right, we're in a bike dismounting area. 
This is a very efficient way to get back since we walked so south. Oh gosh, I'm falling. Okay, bye. Hey Ryan. Okay, Ryan is off to watch football. I'm meeting up with my friend Seb now. She is going to Sephora and meatpacking. I am bouncing around the city today. The bike ride was so good. I could have used some gloves, but having a day. Back home now, look, walked about six miles and biked some of that. So not all walked five miles or six miles. You know what I'm trying to say. Was all around the city today. Loved it. Um, stopped by Sephora. Got a couple things that I'd show you. Um, the stuff. Drunk Elephant, the Glycolic Night Serum. This is the pink bottle. I used to use this every night before bed. And I always woke up and my skin was so nice. And then I just kind of stopped using it because it's kind of expensive. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy it again because I need like... I'm not obsessed with the night products I'm using. I love my day products, but so I'm gonna try this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna try this for baking instead. It's just like a better container I like the color a lot and then I always just buy another lip glowy balm because I literally put these in all of my bags every Everywhere. I love how my lips feel when I put it on so I'm just kind of cleaning up <laughs> it's kind of a mess in here because um, I'm having some people over tonight. Living room's a little bit cleaner. Guys, it's literally snowing at this football game. I mean, I know that's not revolutionary in Buffalo, but I'm like, whoa. Attempting to kind of do a little Sunday reset. I realized I needed to do laundry. I got these. They're spoons. No, not actually. I brought them out in front of my friend the other day. Like, we were like in full conversation and we were just talking and I was like, yeah, yeah. And I just pulled them out. I didn't even grab them to my face yet. And she was like, eating something? And I was like, oh no, it does kind of look like here's a spoon for you, here's a spoon for me, but um, they're like cryo spoons. Oh my gosh, I like keep them in my refrigerator. It feels so good. So good. What's that from? I don't know. Um, also trying to like chug a green juice, you know? My friends Delaney and Daly are coming over tonight. We were like all friends in college. You guys know Daly, obviously, and Delaney, you saw this weekend already. And we're just doing takeout. We're gonna do Westville. So there's just a little bit of something for everyone. Like I think Delaney's getting a burger, Daly's getting chicken. I think I'm gonna try their arugula parm salad. I saw it on TikTok. This girl orders the arugula parm salad, but then like adds a chicken cutlet. And that sounds delicious. And the truffle fries, of course. Or like the, the yeah, the truffle fries. Um so I refilled my supplements, just trying to get my life together a little bit. You know, it feels good on a Sunday. Thank you, darling. A little city slicker, you. Oh, I have been. I was filming that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cheers, Triple D. Three different types of people. LaCroix, white wine, and Diet Coke. Is it Diet Coke? Yeah. Diet Coke. Here we are. What we got? What do we got? I was like, hey, you girls sit here. I'm going to sit here with the rest of the moms. <laughs> you girls have your playtime. We got a burger. Oh, that smells good. I, think I gotta put all the things on it. Oh, yes. they like gave it to you all separately. Guess, That's yeah. kind of annoying. Hmm. Rude. Oh, chicken nuggets. <laughs> oh, love. And then truffle parm fries. We all three. Oh, yours is the full size too. Oh my god. Well, you know what? Leftover check. Oh, wait, no. no oh, no. Yours. That's mine. Oh, okay. That makes That's a fine. lot more sense. Leftover check. I got the thing on TikTok. I told you guys about the arugula parm and chicken cutlet. So I'm very excited. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Rotisserie Charlie's chicken. Angels. Yeah, Daily the rotisserie chicken. So Daily was like, do you guys have an in and outs list of 2023? And we were like, no. Of course she has a full one. Um, so she's going to share hers in a second. I'm going to make her actually. Because yeah. it's really funny. And while she was saying it to us, I was like, I should be filming this. But so now I'm inspired. And we've just been like talking, you know, for the last couple hours. And I'm like, oh, you know what's in? And then I started a list. <laughs> so, so far. I don't have any outs yet. Apartment parties. Like apartment pre games, apartment parties. It's just so wholesome, so fun. Verse going out. Like it's Verse is going out. Yes. We don't need a sweaty bar. We simply don't. We do not need a sweaty bar. Like, why don't we just be with the people we want to see? Play good music. We have alcohol here. Yeah. A bathroom, a clean bathroom. Yeah. Murder mystery games. Everyone's doing them right now. Like they actually are in. I feel like. Like I feel like so many people are doing murder mystery games right now. And this one could be taken weird if you don't understand what I'm saying. I literally mean this. Neck and shoulder massages at nail salons. Like Delaney went to get a manicure and they like massaged you. No, it was the best. I was not expecting it. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> kind of came out of nowhere. Surprise, surprise massages. <laughs> In surprise massages. Out. 
to brunch. Planned massages are out. Planned massages. Right. Daily, our rotisserie <laughs> chicken under the red light. Okay. <laughs> Share. Okay. In. This is normally in for most people, but making your bed. Um, it's in. <laughs> it's a year to do that. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. Bud Light. It's in. It's back. <laughs> like, the, what kind do you like? The cans or the tall, like, slender aluminum ones? Honestly, the tall aluminum ones are preferable, but a glass bottle will do fine. Just fine. Um, sleep gummies, CBD, melatonin, you name it. Love. I'm chewing it. <laughs> uh, abbreviations and having sayings for things. Always been in, but definitely this year. Okay. This is controversial, guys. <laughs> Michael Jackson is back. <laughs> His music. His music. His music. His music. Another controversial one. Instagram reels instead of TikTok. Don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> like watching them. Yes. Yeah. Consuming. Real you people are see, real people. You will not real people me. are real people. Oh my god. You will not see me um, making any reels, but cozy blankets. Cozy, cozy blanket. Cold weather and snow. We just haven't had enough of it. Cold so. weather is in, apparently. So, um, linguini. <laughs> Love linguini. So it's like daily's list. It's in slash chicken parm. Like chicken parm is so in. It's so in because we had the well, spicy <laughs> rigatoni. Like, <laughs> was it out? I love chicken parm. <laughs> the spicy rigatoni. It had its year. This year is for chicken parm. Like, oh, I, I see your spin. Yeah. Okay. Documentaries in. Love. Chat memes and firing up. <laughs> No, wait, you have to say this clearly because this one's really funny. Firing up old group chats. <laughs> <laughs> just randomly out of the blue, pick a group chat from two years ago and just be like, hey, happy Friday. Like Delaney made the example of. <laughs> like my ADPR class, like <laughs> junior year, be like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> how's everyone doing? Just firing it up the hey old guys, chat. Drinks on me tonight. I'm for sure doing that. Like, for like, sure doing that. Re download Green. <laughs> <Yeah. Absolutely. laughs> uh, Jennifer Coolidge. Love. And we know so this. 11 11, like making a wish. Mm -hmm. Being happy, being single, guys. It's in. Single girl. Yeah, single yeah. girl era. And 90s R &B, always. <laughs> Out. What is out? Sean Mendez's new haircut. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. God. Um, bad coffee. Anxiety. Mm. Out. If oh. you wake up with anxiety, that's out. Shake it off. Just shake it off. <laughs> cracked phones. Out. It did it the other day. It's chuggy now. It was cool. If you crack it, get it fixed the next yeah, day. Like, I know. I need to do that. I'm so good. out. Store bought cookies, famous Amos, Chicks Ahoy. Out. Make them in the <laughs> oven, goddammit. It's not that hard. <laughs> Cheating on girls, out! It's oh, so yeah. uncool. Cheating on boys is bad too, but cheating on girls, the year is, this is not the year to do it. Got it. Um, social climbing, <sighs> hinge, don't, I know. <laughs> you just mean like dating apps in general? Well, just, you know. Or what do you mean for, it, this one's for you thing, I think. Well, because for her, single girl years it's in, it's and so mm. naturally the dating apps have to be out. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, along with that goes fantasy football, I'm mm. bad. I don't want to play anymore. It's out. <laughs> Saying yes when you want to say no. Out. Out. And the word mid. Out. Like, oh, dinner was kind of mid tonight. No. <laughs> Just say, say it was bad. bad. Like, say it was not great, but like, you don't have to say mid. Like, oh. How do you feel about the word slay? Everyone's saying. You know. I've so been trying to use it more because I think it's I fun, and it then I cringe at myself. I'm like, that's, wow. that's, like, that's such a slay. It has yeah. to roll off the tongue, though. Yeah. I don't really do purr. Oh, do do people do purr? Like, okay. Oh, oh, like okay, purr. Like, okay, purr. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't. Seriously, I like, it. made and purr out. Out. You're gonna have to add purr to your list. Yeah, I know. Oh, what else did I want to add there? Did you have anything else? No. Thank you, Daily. That was Comment very. Down below. What are your ins and outs? Yeah, which ones do you guys agree with? Comment yeah. down and, below. Hey guys, this is just like. This is just my opinion. Daily's ins and outs, but we just thought you guys would find if it entertaining. You, if you hate linguini, I'm really sorry. You don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> a moment. Linguini, linguini, linguini is in. <laughs> well, that was just a fabulous evening. I'm like so here for these apartment hangouts. Like last night with Kelly, Delaney, and Daily coming here. I was like obsessed. It's so fun. It's good vibes. There's no loud music. You can actually talk and like dance around. We watched YouTube videos of like random dance people. <sighs> Feeling fulfilled. Very fulfilling weekend, very fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I definitely thought I was gonna be like going out more and doing more of that, so like wild Danny, but I think I did show like, you know, more like, I didn't do as much like aesthetic things this week, like um, shots more so. Like I was vlogging more just like, 
you know, I was turning on the camera. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I've been really enjoying doing different style videos. Um, not even different styles, just kind of different themes more. So like they're all vlogs, but just kind of a little twist on them. So hopefully you guys are enjoying them. If you have any requests or ideas, definitely leave them down below. I'm going to watch some Ginny and Georgia, fold my laundry, and go to bed. Love you guys. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time for our next video. Bye.